Hey, man, we got Charleston White today, man, talking on Orlando Brown. Man, now you, you just went viral again with the Orlando Brown, man. That that was crazy. That that was crazy right there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how did that how did that happen? Did you expect it? Did you know you were gonna sit down with him? No, nah, I got a call from the Danza Project said, "Hey, uh, we got Orlando Brown. Do you want to do an interview with him?" So you know, I always co do interviews with them. So me, Brittany, Brittany Renner. So so we've done that on several times. So I like, well, shit, nigga, I always wanted to meet that. Uh, he said, "I always wanted to meet the I was nigga. a fan, cause I think the nigga shit. So just looking. On the outside looking in, I'm saying, man, that nigga yakking, he playing like a mother, he bullshit. So uh that boy ain't playing when boy. I meet him, no. when I get there, ain't he getting about plan, to live or the Uber. We dead already, serious. He already fucks up. He see me and go crazy. I'm thinking he going in the character. Mm. So I'm studying, I'm paying attention to him. And so I'm trying to have some real straight up conversation with him, tell him, say boy. I say, say, Igor. I use the N word, you know, for monetization purposes. Say, figure. Real boy, igger, real me igger. You in the movie together, my figure. Man, boy, we go hit it big. He said, for real, I know her. Woo woo. So I'm saying, man, I can call the producer right now. Boy, we can do this, we can do that. So I see, I said, oh, man, he already messed up. So he go in and get a haircut. I see he got the Gumby. I said, boy, you must be a young player with that Gumby. I'm seeing, man, he, so this my my exact word. I said, say, look out now. Man, try because he had already took a big glass of uh Don Julio Reposado like that. He done took that to the head. Damn. So I said, say, listen, man, try not to get too drunk, homie. I got my manager with me so we can talk business. I said, matter of fact, same. Go on get his number. Before this nigga here get too drunk. Cause I already see how this going. He get a haircut. Man, when we get on that podcast, before the cameras come on, he goes. Yeah, them boy getting a haircut before the interview. Like, what type of ghetto ass shit y'all got going on, boy? I fuck with it though. You feel me, boy? Man's pulling up to an interview. Bob already ready. He's sitting in the chat talking about, you ready? What you getting? You want to line up? You getting a full dead? Hey, they doing all that just to get you right for your interview to make sure you looking, you feel me, presentable and shit. Nah, I fuck with that, boy. I fuck with that. That real right now. I'm standing in the corner and just start saying some crazy stuff. So this ain't for the cameras, homie. So I'm saying, man. He just needs somebody to breathe life back into him. Try to remind him, nigga, you a star, my nigga. You a Lando Brown. So that was my anger to come to him. But he don't want to be a star no more, homie. I don't know what trauma he done been through, but there's some trauma that lie there. So I'm showering him with love. I'm showering him with love. Trying to see if he can come out of character and just talk. Because I know that if, if me and they put me and him in a movie together, me and him go do a few well, if they do a movie together, boy, I know that shit gonna be a hit, bro. Imagine Charleston White and Orlando Brown, you feel me? I ain't saying, oh, imagine the movies that they did before. Imagine the movie together, how good the movie. Nah, just their characters and their personalities. They could play down there themselves in a the movie, bro. That movie a hit, bro. That should be funny as hell. Shit, they could be each other out. It don't matter, bro. They just be going at it the whole time. That's a movie right there, you feel me? Sequel, all that. Two more podcasts together? Shit, like his shirt say, Unk and Neff. So... When I find out how much he making, I said, man, he on drugs. So I call mm. another he platform making? he done been on. What he making? Well, let me find out he making like $500 now. And I find out. I need at least five bands to interview. How much they paying? Y'all celebrities. And all the money goes straight to the dope man after the podcast. I said, man. They I believe that. Man, all the money though? Mm. Yeah, they ain't so nothing. I'm for the, you know, you know me, Sean. I'm for the pump him up and be big. I'm for the take the, yeah, homie. So, uh, I'm <laughs> man, hey, me, hey, hey, me and Victoria been trying to get a hold of him, man. I would love to do the. Anybody can get him, homie. He's so cheap. Boy, he tried that boy ass. Talk about boy. <clears throat> Anybody can get him. Boy, he's so cheap. That nigga dirt cheap, bro. A dollar. <laughs> you get him for the free ski shit. You pull up with some Aina. You heard me? That boy gonna do you an interview. You just need a little sack of that shit. Yeah, yeah man. But you know man, me, man. Well, bad like that. Homie, every, well, homie, when the people book him, he be already loaded. So that's why they play for the number. Mm. They can see him on the FaceTime, his mouth twisted. and So, homie, so it's not they fault. The yeah, but you can't do business looking like a goop. You feel me? They talking about he answering FaceTime calls, drooling and shit down there, falling over, falling out the chair. Like, bruh. Of course, they ain't going to give you no good business proposals if you ain't business-like. You feel me? You acting like you don't even want to do no business. Like, 
uh, okay, uh, whatever you guys talk about, uh, but they gonna tell your ass, all right, we got a penny for your ass, pull up, you know, like, all, all right, whatever, whatever, just have me a sack of that, Aina, you heard me, you tripping, bro, you can't be like that, you can't be like that, bro, Orlando, bro, you gotta know your worth, bro, they going viral off you, bro, millions of views, bro, you worth millions of views, yo, boy, so you better ask the ass for at least, bro, $4,000, yo, boy, at least, really, $5,000 an interview, $10,000 an interview, bro, you a child sensation. Like, yeah, you bumped out, nah, crack it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you going to bring content every time. And that's what they looking for. So you feel me? So know your, know your worth, bro. You can be getting top shelf shit if that's what you looking for. That Aina. You heard me? Just don't settle, man. To get something like this for this number that's going to produce this, it ain't they fault. He a grown man. And he, and he don't mind being taken advantage of. Man, he done even offered to come to Dallas and get paid five hundred dollars a week just to do somebody podcast every week. Mm. That's that's how. Long yeah, that's that's bum activity, bro. You feel five hundred dollars every week? That's what two bands a month, bro. As a celebrity, your boy, you want to live off of that? Go work at McDonald's. Go work at McDonald's. You don't have to be humiliated, ashamed publicly. You feel me? Because you probably are still gonna feel some type of way working at McDonald's. You feel me? But, bro, you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta settle for doing these interviews getting. Exploited, but it's getting millions of views off of you. You feel me? Hella content getting produced, and you ain't making a penny. You getting five hundred dollars. You getting two thousand dollars a month. But it's little niggas probably clipping your shit on TikTok, making probably ten bands a month, and you can't make two. When they clipping you, Orlando, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You the content. So, yeah, but learn, learn your worth, bro. Learn your value, bro. Low, he taking it, homie. Yeah, so, dude, you wild. I'm saying, man, me and him can get some money together. And he can teach me about acting, right? So uh, Ooh, once I finesse. saw he couldn't snap, and that 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 he really running from who? I don't know what he running from. He, he a runner, runner. him a track star. Running to drugs, but he's that a functional he running the drugs. drug addict. Because he got a haircut. Drug addict. I mean, he keep his haircut because he know in front of the camera. Wow. He he was well taken <laughs> care of. I ain't gonna lie. If you really think about it. That's probably them interview niggas, you feel me, giving his ass a haircut and make him look some type of way. Make him look like, oh, yeah, he is presentable. He ready to do these interviews. He probably just coming on with a character, persona, or whatever. The whole time, they just making sure he look right. You feel me, getting that boy together, getting his little haircut, his little tape, whatever. To make make it look like, oh, no, nah, he is presentable. He not as bad, you feel me, or far off or messed up as it seemed like he really is. You feel me? So it might just be, it might just be a, a tactic that. The interview niggas using the whole time. It might not even be him. He's keeping himself up together. Like he do be talking about his wife though, so his wife might take care of him. Keep keep him keep him straight, like he be saying. But I don't think his wife is gonna be going for all these other things he be talking about on these interviews though, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, his dental work is proper, right? Because he was well taken care of as a kid. I could right. agree with uh, that. I could agree with that, didn't uh, he? Yeah, he running from something, homie, running to them drugs and alcohol. <clears throat> So he ain't just doing drugs. He on everything. So and you'll see in the middle of the podcast, so he drunk some Crown Apple, Don Julio, and then when he took the bathroom break, he came back crawling on the ground. He I came said, back doing what? You ain't went to the bathroom and you, nigga, you went. You came back crawling on the ground after you went to the bathroom. You ain't no drinking for real. You was over there flogging on the alcohol and the liquor, mixing dark and, and uh light liquor together. You feel me? That, that's your fault. You talking about some Don Julio and motherfucker Crown Apple. Boy, that sound like light and dark to me. He ain't lying. Is, I'm, is I'm tripping? You know I ain't no drinker. Is, is I'm tripping? But I know you ain't supposed to mix, right? Yes. That boy over here mixing shit, talking about he came back crawling. Boy, he either over there doing some other drugs, some more extra shit. Or oh, that boy passed his limit trying to show out for the interview. Like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I do this shit. I do this shit. I'm a real junkie. Yeah, bro. Chill, bro. <laughs> to go get high. So, uh, yeah, yeah, nah, homie. So, uh, once he started talking about the barbershop incident, I'm saying, well, it's easy to attack a man while he sleep. Uh, yeah, when I woke up, things changed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Watch y'all to try to talk about this shit. Nah. You would just talk about, oh, it's a closed, it's an open case, blah, blah, blah. You wouldn't even tell him nothing about this. You feel me? You was acting like this shit confidential information, but you ain't trying to get this shit bigger than what it is. Now you over here talking about it on this interview, like, oh, oh, you were putting down on them, letting them know. No, you didn't, bro. No, you didn't. Like, come on, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, Charleston. But, uh, 
Say, homie, don't bring that up. I'm out on two bond right there. This is, you know, come on, homie. So once he oh, couldn't. You feel me? That's the type of energy you have right there. Let's, let's keep that energy. You feel me? Let's keep this energy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Of course, you feel me? I ain't over here. I don't want nobody self incriminate themselves. Go over the hell, stitch it all themselves with that. Does not have to be done. You feel me? But that gets done all the time. That's not what I'm saying, though. Nah, don't don't stitch on yourself. Don't come over here capping like you was telling Orlando Brown some whole other shit and you wasn't, no boy, because you was not doing that. I said, oh, he the dope fiend, so I know where to hit the dope fiend. I went to hitting him below the belt. That's why you couldn't fight. You trying to tell me you would go help me when the killer jumped on me. You ain't. Yeah, y'all got to know about Charleston, bro. This nigga hit below the belt, below the knees, below the toes. This nigga going for your ankles, all that. Your Achilles heel, you heard me? All that, bro. What? This nigga going to find your weakness, yo, boy. This nigga going to kill you with words. Talking about, what well, they acting like this nigga be holding back. Y'all forget what he be saying about kids and babies, yo, boy? This nigga has no, there's no low to him. This nigga setting new highs for lows, yo, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jump, get them. This nigga heartless. So, yeah, that's what made me start going to do that. People saying, oh, he brought up his childhood trauma. I told y'all, if you go low. I now, why you keep going viral too now? I go lower. Yeah, I bring up all kind of, yeah, so, uh, and then I'm thinking, y'all must forgot about all the time he been on platforms talking about how he done F Bow Wow, how he done F Jamie Foxx. He telling, he be telling people. Hey, do, hey, wait, wait, do you believe that? Or he, you think he trolling? I think he trolling. Yeah, but I think I he trolling, but. I think he just giving a sign though. Like by him saying that, he just saying, "Oh yeah, this shit really going down in the industry." It's up to y'all to believe it and not believe it. That's up to y'all. You feel me? I ain't finna tell y'all, but shit, I feel like him just throwing himself under the bus, more of like not a coping mechanism, but like a way of getting making sure the information gets out there. You feel me? Because oh, if he say, "Oh, it's with him," of course nobody gonna believe that shit. But he letting y'all know, oh nah. These the type of people, you feel me, doing this type of activity in real life. So watch out, because these niggas over here, you feel me? Yeah, so that's probably what you're saying. So y'all just need to read between the lines with that one. Take what you want to, take what you don't want to, leave it there, put it in the trash, whatever you do with that information, you do with that information. But shit, read between the lines with those. Mm. I know he done been f you ain't finna go to DSG five that. years old acting how he acting and it ain't tamper with Nah, chill, chill. The, the way he acting now, you feel me? I feel like, yeah, the industry that got to him and flipped him up, fucked him up, blah, blah, blah. But the way he came in, y'all don't act like he wasn't the most little gangster nigga on uh, Disney once upon a time, you feel me? Just had a little braids, a little wigs, all type of little shit, you feel me? He was putting on for the nigga community. Like, oh, nah, boy, niggas could probably make it to Disney one day, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, but I was type, you feel me? Shit, niggas used to look at it, be like, oh, yeah, boy, it's hope, boy. It's hope for niggas to make it. Type shit I used to look at, boy. It's hope, boy. It's hope for niggas, like real niggas, like niggas. You feel me? I ain't talk about black people. Shout out to my black people done made it. You heard me? But now you see niggas really making it on TV, Netflix, all type of shit for real. You feel me? But shit, shit like that, they got it done. We ain't gonna just give him his flowers for that. But nah, bro, they got him through that process of him putting on for us. You feel me? He, he couldn't stay strong through the whole thing. We'll say that. But he ain't came in like that, bro. He ain't, he did not come in like that. You feel me? That boy was a with the boy. He was a character back then. So, so I'm saying, I'm I'm just gonna say this to anybody that argue with me. If you ever been M O L E S T E D, don't argue with me. YouTube purposes. I'm gonna bring it up. If you've ever been neglected and abused as a child, <clears throat> he I'm gonna, gonna bring, bring it up. up. If your mother has passed, he I'm brought it up. up. He did did it already. If your child is done. I'm, I'm telling y'all, but this nigga below the belt, bro. The lowest of the lowest, yo, boy. This nigga gonna do it, bro. It's Charleston White, yo, boy. <laughs> it's in his name, y'all, boy. I, I hear Charleston White. I'm thinking, oh, somebody's getting insulted. Beyond insults. You feel me? To a new to, to a new extent of insult. You heard me? He ain't lying. A new word. To a new extent of insult meant. The fuck is you talking about? I'm on writing it up. <laughs> so don't argue with me. Because there's no limitation with my argument. No limitations. You heard me? Man, I done said some mean things to God before. Ooh, now he tripping now. <laughs> yeah, man. So mm. no, nah, I ain't laughing with you. So no, man. My best Not laughing. weight. Mm -mm. I weigh 125 pounds. I done got up to 133. My punches don't hurt bad. But boy, my words feel like bullets piercing skin. So when it's time to attack, I attack with words. I wait, sick him like a chihuahua. And my words be vicious <laughs> and they be venomous. So don't bother me. Yeah, that boy be really saying some below the 
belt shit like damn bro you can't hold back a little bit bro like you ain't human bro you ain't got no soul you ain't got no feelings bro you don't feel the shit you be saying to bitch bro you like damn now nah, i know that shit hurt a little bit okay i went a little too far on that one i might have went a little too far on that one nah bro you go hard he like nah fuck your baby you heard me? He just said, more the babies, more worse the shit about babies, but I cannot repeat them things myself. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't in me. You hear me? It ain't in me. If you can't handle my words, don't bring up none of my problems if you don't want me bringing up your problems. I could agree with that. Your childhood trauma. Now you're going too far. Know about it. So now I don't feel bad about it at all. Uh, yeah, that's why I was secretly recording him cra crawling on the ground. Because I knew he, once I find out he was dope fiending, I gave my oh, guy, got say, we got to get this because it's going to be. Now he got to prove no he's saying. But if you still think stocks, real estate, or crypto are the best passive income investments in today's economy. He golden footage. Boy, if he, yeah, yeah this so he got be golden proof. footage. Yeah, it seems like all the childhood Nickelodeon and Disney actors they're not the same anymore. They seem mm -mm. a little off. Mm -mm. No, all of them. Well, everybody's just stay saying that about the Home Alone shit, bro, man. They that was like one of the first ones they got, boy. I know Michael ain't no. Yeah, he, he was a childhood celebrity, bro. They got Michael too. You feel me? Shit, boy, I ain't gonna lie, but they got a lot of that. I don't want I don't want to get my shit flat, boy. It's a lot of niggas shit niggas want to say right now, boy. He ain't lying. We can't imagine what it's like. To have your 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 ear pushed in. Yeah, we can't imagine what that'll do to your brain, Sean. So I don't even try to imagine. Uh, I just try to have sympathy for those children, and then I try to make mockery out of the grown folks that's trying to hide behind that childhood trauma more than me. So you don't want to help them out? No. Yeah, nah, nah. Don't bother somebody trying to come at the ass as a victim. Now, nah. like, come on, nah. That's a double-edged sword right there. Like, chill. I want to make fun of him. You want the best of both worlds. I'm talking about Orlando Brown. I want to make fun of him. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yeah, he I, I, I want to make fun of him. I want to kick him while he down. <laughs> you lying to me, dude. I want to kick him while he down. Stop him, that. Man, I want to humiliate him. Wait, you just said you was on an apology tour, man. How you doing that? And and you now you want to kick him Different while he down? Them the people in the past, he knew, Sean. He, <laughs> that's what he knew. I'd catch him four years from now. Them the people. That boy get ready for season two all the time. You heard me? That boy like, all right. So these people I, I had got ready this time. You feel me? Apology tour. That shit already looking good. I got hella cities booked. But damn, we might could do this next year. But next year, I can't go apologizing to the same people because they probably already gonna done forgive me. All type of shit. So hmm, what's the play? What's the play? I right, this the play right here. We gonna find some more beasts. Get them shits ready right now. We gonna go do our little apology tour. You feel me? Get them out of the way. They hopefully don't feel no type of way because I'm over here, but I'm finna get started. I'm getting ready for season two though. We finna find us 10 more victims. Start dissing they ass throughout this year. You heard me? Next year, season two, boom. Hopefully we might see them on the return. <laughs> you heard me? For the apology tool number two. That was the boy that was like, hey, what up, boy? Charles, like, what you have, boy? Well, I already <laughs> done something too. He you hell. <clears throat> and yeah, we, you know we don't care about dope feet. No. Man, we rent they car, don't take them back, wreck them, all kind of thing. Yeah, no, I'm not oh, apologize to him later, but right now. Y'all dope fiends got it, boy. Our dope fiends don't got no cars, boy. Our dope fiends ain't got no money, boy. What you talking about? Cars. What? I want to make fun of them. Wait, what do, you think, what, do you, what do you think he was on in the interview? He, he was on Coke? He was on everything. Uh, alcohol. Oh, uh, and meth. But he oh, I was about to say, bathroom, just alcohol had him tripping like that? Ain't no person. way. But he was for surely drunk. Ain't no way. He came back, he came back with a, like on an upper or a downer? Nah, downer. Mm. Nah, he came back on a downer. So once I saw uh, that this is going nowhere, I can only take BS for so long. Time to go. Man, let me get up out of here. Man, I gotta <laughs> go catch a predator with Aiden Ross near him tonight. Man, I got a big go stage to go be on. I ain't got no bidding over here. A big stage. You see, you got to go do what? With who? I understand that Aiden Ross part. Cool, cool. That's a bigger, way bigger celebrity. You feel me? He was a big name, especially two years ago. He was one of the biggest uh, streamers, whatever. But you said, y'all finna go catch a what? 
Oh man, come on, bro. You, you, you caught me off guard with that one. I ain't gonna lie. You caught me a little off guard with that one. Boy. Man, no. Oh. Man, no. Let me no. go with my real nephew that got me on the big stage in the bright lights with Kick. <laughs> and shout out to Kick and Vitality and Aiden Ross. So, yeah, now, nah, homie, I hurry up and shook that spot. Yeah, you. Uh, he kept calling you daddy. Yeah. Tripping. Well, he was saying stuff. Uh, Tripping. Making reference to Damon Wayans. And you got to remember, he was five years old when he was in that movie. Daddy. Pain. What you so, mean? Mm -hmm. People. What you mean, daddy? Boy, you better go find your father or some other goof ass nigga to go play with. But don't ever call me that again, boy. What's up with you, bro? I ain't gonna lie, boy. I know Charleston would have been hot about that. You took calling him daddy, bro. What's up with you, bro? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, grown niggas don't even play like that, bro. We don't play like that, bro. That's some new generational shit right now, bro. Y'all trying to call another nigga daddy. Like, nah, bro. I get the son shit, but nah, bro. I ain't, ain't no daddy, bro. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Your ass is fried, bro. You smoking motherfucking dick out, bro. Tripping. Well, I've always said that I had similarities to Damon Wayne. Tripping. So when he was looking at my nose and saw that there's freckles on my nose, on the, That's what you look like Damon Wayne's, though. On my nose is women. I ain't never had a nigga say, man, you got freckles on your nose. But every woman I've been intimate with noticed that there's freckles on my nose. So uh, when he saw that, I said, He's relating his childhood. All three of them. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> because he kept bringing up Damon Wayans. And then he was saying, Daddy. I said, Damon Wayans must was a father figure in his life at one point in time because he went into Hollywood in that movie at such an early age. So that's what made me listen to him, homie. And I said, man, this nigga's speaking in parables. But he's saying some truth. It's all mixed up in trauma. Pain, hurt, disappointment, shame, embarrassment. A character that he can't get out of. So it's just like the OG nigga, homie. The the the, the Melvin Farmers, the 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 the, the Marvin I told us that still hollering about what gang they was in. They're stuck in that character. Mm. These are mentally retarded people. And mental retardation means that there's no mental growth. <laughs> right. So These are stuck people right in this childhood. Persona, Whatever they be called, they say. You know, those hella groups, they, they come up with a new name every day, kids. boy. Mm. Homie, mm. When, I, when I saw, and I ain't gonna say how much he making, homie, but there's no... Well, you said that boy making $2,000 a month. Wait. What you mean $2,000 a month? I can't do it. There's no way, it. and I see why he's getting... Gotta that's, pay that's me, why. boy. He's on all these different... Like I said, Lord and the Brown, bro, you got to learn your worth out here, bro. You feel me? Your ass really probably... I ain't going to say no idol, bro. ain't none of that, bro. You feel me? But your ass really a person that go viral, bro. You really content for real, bro. So know your worth, bro. All this $2,000... Bro, you shouldn't even take $2,000 for one interview, yo, boy. At least, bro, five or ten, boy. Like, that's that's lowballing right there, to be real. That's lowballing. That's low bar. They probably make that off the interview. You feel me? But they ain't just about that. It's about the notoriety and all that other shit, too. You feel me? It's an investment on their side. That's what it should be. All this motherfucker. Boy, they getting off on you, bro. They getting off on you, Orlando. I hope Disney wasn't paying you like that. <laughs> oh, God. I would have been devastated. He like that catfish called Sway or whatever. <laughs> mm. He cheap. And he go get you Sway in the morning, you know, catfish. Like never heard of that. That's dope. Let's go quadruple. That's cheap. Mm. I knew for a fact once I sat down with Orlando Brown that the Danzel Project was going to get a million off. I knew. I knew. So I strategically made sure. Come on, nigga. Let's do this here. What? That I, combo I, I sound like a million views right there. I ain't going to lie. And Charles the White. Let me go and get this Orlando Brown. Brown. Uh, yeah, it's a nice them two crazy ass niggas in the same room. My fault. I was like, oh yeah, but you know that's crazy right there. Uh, Charles White and Orlando Brown in the same room, you feel me? Psh, you know that's viral right there. What? I sound like some content. You got this crazy ass nigga always going viral for this and bitches. You got this crazy ass nigga going viral for always having somebody in they, in his mouth for saying that he was in their mouth, basically. You feel me? Psh, this shit crazy. I know that would have been crazy Come viral. On, do the stream, Big bro. video. Boom, boom, boom. Millions, then two million, three, yeah, eight million work. probably. I'm picking mm. up a bag at each stop. Big mm. bag. So when I see what he getting paid, I'm saying, man, he got to be on dope. Because if he can't come out of character, it, it pays. See, Charleston White saying that, and I'll be feeling like Charleston White getting low balled. And he probably making like 10, 10 off an interview right now. Down there, Boosie numbers. You know, Boosie, I been feeling like Boosie was getting low balled. He done devalued himself. Like, he went down. And then he did the 
for our wave shit. That's why we really start even speaking on him. You heard me? But then but right here, Charleston. This man talking about 10K for any, bro. You know they going mega viral, bro. Even Lil', Ch Lil Channel should really be having to pay you five bands to be real, bro. You feel me? Like, yeah, bro, come up with that, bro. You know it's going to be worth it, bro. You, you could drop a Charleston White interview. Like, let's say you actually get the interview and we pop out to your shit. You feel me? You drop that interview, some never before seen content with Charles and White. More million views on a 200 subscriber channel. Zero subscriber channel. Like, bro, yeah, I need to be charging more. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. If he telling you you need to be charging more, he ain't, I feel like he ain't getting paid enough. Imagine, bro. I feel like you should be getting paid. Well, at least what he getting paid right now. You know you should be probably getting paid more. Than, boy, this shit, this shit crazy, bro. Time. Homie, he was so high, y'all can go back and watch him on camera. He asked for his money to be paid. They gave him $750. That's the back end. You do the numbers. Mm. They gave him $800. I told him, man, I want some of them 20s. I gave him seven $100 bills. He gave me $800 worth of 20s. I put them in my pocket. Fool. <laughs> he bought that boy. <laughs> oh, I Campbell. Take advantage of drunk he people. said, I want the interview. I'm drunk, nigga. You better not drop no money with me drunk. Oh, he got his ass for 100. He gave him some nice blues. I'll take these dusty. Like, I'll take these dusty 20s off you. Give you some nice, clean, pristine, top class, one of one $100 bills. I'll just tax you a hundred dollars for that, boy. What? Get your green ass on, boy. Get my motherfucker, boy. You won't be another hundred. Let me go more of them blue things. Or you give me uh back back them crusty ass. You heard me? Give me back four, five of them crusty ass green things, then. If they so crusty, mm. I don't want you having so much, then. Yeah. I don't want yeah. it to be a so burden now, on I you. I take care of my kind. Playing crazy. And he ain't my kind of nigga. You you also you take said that, that burden off you. Your biggest fear is being uh Hassan Campbell. Yeah, stuck on the internet, homie. Hollin' hollin' at YouTube on the YouTube <coughs> platform uh ten years into this. Mm. So that's why I work so hard to try to become a stand-up comedian. That's why I work so hard, homie, to try to evolve to to dropping books, uh, to getting in movies, uh, to to being the one that's interviewing, to to being the one that's getting interviewed rather than stuck on YouTube just talking. I, I didn't want to be Bosco. Uh, I didn't want to be Nina Boy. All these guys who I started out beefing with on YouTube channels, and they're still over there. Mm. That's a diss. Mm. So now I, I I didn't want to be that because let me just say this: there was a recent report that that just came out about a week or two ago. Content creation since the pandemic have grossed and netted over two hundred and fifty billion dollars. So that's me, you. All these content creators, when you add up all that heart attack. Oh shit, they said how much? Hey, we missing out, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe. Y'all fuck with the content. So so we get a piece of that. So we get a piece of that pie. Oh, we ain't lying. Over 250 billion. Billion. And it's projected. I'll move dodge just In the boy. next five to ten years, that it's gonna double. Oh, so good. why would I just get stuck over here just doing content over here? When YouTube pay the least amount and they making it harder for black people to get the dollars being content creator. YouTube pay the least. No, I don't, I don't know about all that, nah. Party for music and shorts. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of these YouTubers well off, ain't it? So I'm teaching my people who got mechanic shop. Say, homie, start your channel on how to. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching my people on what pays the Teaches most. Teaches how to do that how shit ourselves, man. How to barbecue. How, how to not get cook, bucked by a mechanic again. How to, how to know when a mechanic trying to mess to up your car. All the how to mm -hmm. pays more. The kids is opening plan because they are more advertiser friendly. The content that black people upload because it's so much drama it's so much negativity that's associated with it, <coughs> even to the terms that we use. We're not advertiser friendly. So, nigga, I'm crossing over to be more advertiser friendly. That's why I'm on YouTube less and less. Because on other social media platforms, I'm more advertiser friendly. 
That's um. how I was able. That's how I was able to get a residency in Las Vegas, homie, with some Mormon, some 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 uh, Mormon club owners that own a lot of comedy clubs, and they was excited about having me because certain et- ethnicities see me as being advertiser friendly. That's why I kick keep allowing me to work with Aiden Ross, despite all the things I've said in the past. Are you hip to um, what's going on in Dallas right now in the rap scene? It's called the Dallas drill scene. No, nah, no, nah, I don't know nothing about it. Them I too? Man, I don't know what's going on in Texas, man. I'm an international nigga now. Yeah, these <laughs> local jokers don't even get in my hair no more. <laughs> yeah, these local jokers, man, they've been doing oh, the same is. thing since Mo3 died. And ain't nobody went nowhere and got bigger. Shout out to Big Extra Plug. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's about 20 rappers in Dallas right now that's, it's a lot like the Chicago drill scene. Dissing yeah. each other, niggas all is dying. All of them broke. Uh, uh, I, I, this is what they got in common. All of them broke. All of them live in a, in, in, in a hood or, or, or a low social economic community uh, and nobody plays their music. So they have to talk about this. Remember I told you the last interview, they can't rap about nothing else to make people want to listen. Mm-hmm. So they have to create a drill drama scene just to get airplay because people want to see who go die next. That's the only reason they're listening to it. Mm. See who go go to jail or die. They're not seeing who go get the next record deal. Mm. Because drill rappers don't get signed no more. Mm. So nah, what they that's cap. Fun. Boy, they signing them Philly rappers right now. Them, uh, who else? I know Detroit's still getting a couple artists out there. Boy, who else? Well, I know Philly Philly going crazy for sure. Florida's starting to get all right in your nations. And you hear me? Uh, who else? Boy, some artists right now, boy, on, on the drill scene coming up. Boy, I think Chicago got another another win. You feel me? Just broke another win. Right now, I got some new artists coming out. Boy, yeah, Charleston, boy, you, man, nah, you, nah, you ain't hit, bro. You ain't hit, bro. That's it. Fun I'm talking about plenty from all the places I just named. This. Multiple. F you, Igor, I'm go through. That's it. Other than that, there's no return. Chicago, on yeah, Chicago. And they not get no New York. Of, uh, P-U-S-S-Y from being drill rappers. Mm. They shake a bunch of hands, but that's about it. No real money in it. No real money and not no P U S S Y. Aw, oh, niggas. Yes. Jail bound. So yeah, um, that wouldn't that be? That sound like that sound like uh that sound like a gay scene, gay pride month. So I wouldn't know nothing about them guys. So I'm glad. Yeah, that sound like Gay, gay, gay gangster, gay gangsterism. <laughs> and you give them two summers, most of them will be dead and locked up in jail. That boy talking about uh legit that Crip Mac had felt on um, who show that was Juicy show. You feel me? They talking about that jet, the Crip jet. So they won't last long. Mm. The number one question that fans wanted me to ask you right now was about Caitlin Clark, white girl, plays that basketball. That boy, Crip Matt, baby, that boy, yeah. drop his flag, boy, what? Um, she's in the WNBA, said, number one draft I'm not pick, gangster no more. Um, in the WNBA. She's changed the league I over my time, mind. man. Like, I mean, she's only played like seven games, well, six games in the league. I don't think, I don't think that's how it works. Women basketball players were not flying private until now. 